From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Thursday, July 24th, 2014. In the news, a motor vehicle accident on the Richardson Highway near North Pole left two motorists with minor injuries Tuesday evening. Alaska State Troopers on scene say the driver of a Ford F-250 was attempting to cross the southbound lane and head north on the Rich when the truck collided with a green Dodge Durango that was headed south. The accident happened at the old Richardson exit near 12 Mile Village. Both drivers were transported to local hospitals for treatment and observation. Not guilty pleas yesterday for the Fairbanks man accused of assaulting a woman inside of her residence and then taking a minor child. 27-year-old Juan Figueroa and his girlfriend Evelina Stewart led authorities on a manhunt Tuesday. Court documents reveal they entered a residence on Meadow Rue uninvited. Stewart then assaulted her mother, continuously punching her in the head. The mother was holding the child and the attack caused her to fall on top of the three-year-old. Figueroa then assaulted another person inside of the home. And a North Pole man faces animal cruelty charges after four severely malnourished horses were found on his property. AP reports charges were filed against Thomas Patrick Fisher. Alaska State Troopers began investigating after four horses were reported loose July 2nd and seized by authorities the next day. A veterinarian's report says the horses were malnourished and in poor to very poor condition due to abuse and neglect. Fisher had a business license until 2009 for a venture called Alaska Horseback Guides. Quick look at the weather to wrap up. Today in Fairbanks, periods of rain, patchy morning fog, highs in the upper 50s. Tonight, numerous showers in the evening, areas of fog after midnight, lows in the upper 40s. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, morning fog, scattered showers, highs in the upper 50s. Extended forecast, the showers might break Sunday, but then they come back Monday through Wednesday, highs staying in the low to mid 60s. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. Remember, for more news, sports, or weather, download our free mobile app for Android and Apple devices. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.